Hello, and welcome to Terry's How-To Tutorials. On today's list, we're going to learn how to be a nuisance to your team in Rainbow Six Siege, a game based solely on communication, teamwork, tactics, and listening. We are going to do the opposite of those things. Now there is a handful of things that you can do to be a nuisance to your team, but we're going to go just over the fundamentals of being a nuisance. Now, to get a good idea of what being a nuisance is, it is enjoying yourself and making the game harder for others. So, just a warning, you will probably be voted to get kicked for these things. But that isn't definite, but it is possible. Now we're going to start with Multiplayer Casual. Only for the simple fact that if we go into a ranked match, we will immediately get booted. Which is the goal, but in order to show you what we're talking about, we have to be in a match for as long as possible. So, now the main priority for being a nuisance is just enjoying yourself. That, that is the only priority, because it's going to make life harder for others in the game, and that is really what you're going for. And you can get some serious enjoyment out of that. We have been queued up, and we are securing the area. Now step one, if you're in a ranked match, which we are not, is to contest the point of entry if at all possible. If not, then you have to choose whichever one that will benefit anyone else the least. Step two, which is what we're going to do now, is choose the most inappropriate operator. We're going to choose Castle for this one. In which step two is actually connected to step seven. Use Castle to close your team in the objective or out of the objective room, which I guarantee you we will be doing. All right. So we're going to place these in the most inappropriate places ever. A door panel. Yes. Just so we cannot get back to the room. And we will not help set up reinforcements. We in fact will do the opposite of those things. See how we intricately placed them inside the room without them knowing. You can do that in front of their face or behind their back. It doesn't really matter how you do it. They will tear it down no matter what. Just like so. So now we're going to come back and we're going to put the castle barrier up again to be a pain in the butt. It is always best never to look around and look for the enemy, but rather to stay away from them, as at, if at all possible. Now, another good thing is to run as far away from the objective room while you're defending. So that way on the run back, it's a very long time. Mission accomplished! We died and we got some of our teammates killed as well. Mission accomplished! We were successfully a nuisance to the team in which we lost. And we're okay with that. Alright, rushing in! Now, if we did not cover some of these, we will get them next, because I am sure... Oh! The biohazard container has been located. Let's do that real quick. We're going to open up this window to help our dear friend right here. Sadly, he moved. We're going to follow him. A 
laser pointer is this a good side note. It can alert the enemy of your presence while you are walking around. We only got one shot on her. We're going to open up this wall to help out our teammate to die. We are out of flashes, but that's okay. We died, which successfully again cripples our team, which is okay. Mission accomplished. With our being a nuisance, we have made it to where our team lost the entire match. Congratulations, you're a D-bag. Even though we missed some, we're going to review what we've learned, and then we will learn as we go. First, we look at this guy winning for the other team. Then we're going to see how much closer we got to not getting a pack. Ooh, 5.10% chances. We're going to exit out and then review everything that we went over and everything we did not go over. Alright, if playing in a ranked match, step one would be to contest the point of entry if at all possible. If you cannot contest it, then do a no vote to show that you are very undecided. Step two, choose the most inappropriate, ta uh, inappropriate operator for the current task, whether it be defending, or attacking. Step 3. Hang back while your teammates die systematically while you do nothing but moving just enough not to get booted from the game. Step 4. Part 1. Don't help teammates during a firefight. Step 4. Part 2. Don't revive teammates after they have been downed. Now there is an exception to this rule once again, which is Step 4, Exception Article 5, Note 1. It states that you may help your teammate only if it is to preserve your own life, meaning to use them as bait over and over and over. Step 5. Never shoot out the cameras. Ever. Step 6. Do not communicate with your team. Step 6 Exception The only exception to which you can communicate with your team is if you are eating or screaming. Step 7 Use Castle to close your team in or out of the objective. Step 8 Stand in doorways or anywhere your team wants to get to. Step 9 Reinforce random areas of the map that do not matter. Step 10. Be the first person to die with one of the most important operators, whether attacking or defending. Step 11. Be Blitz. Step 12. Charge in without checking corners. Step 13. Run as far away from the objective room while you are defending, or attacking depending on how much time is left. Step 14. Use only a pistol and only hip fire. Step 15. Be as loud as possible when playing as an attacker or a defender. That is all for Terry's how to tutorials. We thank you and we hope that you have learned nothing. <laughs>